This is Sports of All Sorts with Reggie Wilson. What up? Welcome to Sports of All Sorts. Pretty good week for the Bearcats, and maybe, just maybe, they're starting to figure it out. The Undertaker showed up at college game day, and that seemed fitting considering UC fans tuned into an episode of WWE SmackDown at the shoe today. We are live here at CovCalf. Players warming up behind me as the undefeated Colonels host undefeated LaSalle in a heavyweight matchup across state lines. A game this big, you know is our game of the week. You obviously were on the 98 Rams team that went 4-12, and and then the year later they went to the Super Bowl. What does it take for a team to get over the top? You see and Xavier battling for year-long bragging rights and free cheese conies for life. That last part may or may not be true. Back with Terry Nelson, ready to coach him up. Got a few plays that you want to break down. Let's start with Keith Williams in the first half. You down with FCC? Sure. Of course you know. <laughs> it's training day, and I'm not talking about the Denzel Washington movie. The tale of the tape is off the charts between Coleraine and Fairfield. The Indians came into the night trying to become 10-0 for the first time in program history. The Cardinals came in with 19 straight league titles. It's a good day for a win. I was standing on the field pregame, and you can just feel a certain energy from the Bengals. That feeling proved right. So the Lions and Browns can stay together in that 0-16 marriage because the Bengals aren't making it three's company. What are the players feeling after getting a big win like this? I'm sure it's a big relief. There's like a dark Huge. cloud that's been hanging over Huge. the team. Why on earth would the Patriots need to film anything to gain an advantage on a 1-12 football team? Five Bearcats in double figures. Coach Brandon said that his teams usually pick up steam as the season goes along. Is that how you see it going with the Bearcats right now? Burrow hoping to put an exclamation mark to a Heisman Trophy winning season. Every special throw making Bengals fans more excited than getting a rose from The Bachelor. The hype is real at Hypeville High as Princeton opened their season holding their first two opponents to seven points combined. But Sycamore isn't trying to hear all that, hoping to spoil the fun and keep his season record perfect. The hype in Cincinnati couldn't be any more real right now. I had a fan on Twitter last night tell me if the Bengals take Burrow, he's making the trip from Atlanta back home to watch some games in person next season. One of Cincinnati's fastest growing fitness venues is tucked away on the west side. My vision was perfect for it. Will and Shadeka Simpson run Building Better Futures, or BBF Health, at the North Fairmount Community Center. We turned the classroom to a gym, and it's perfect because like we're like teaching. I still have our chalkboard up because like it still just give us that, that same vibe. Fight, clap, fight, zip, come on. Will started as a trainer at Bally's. From what we was charging people to train was a lot of money. So they turned their basement into a gym and offered to train friends and strangers for free. Then our name started to grow, so it started to be unsafe to be downstairs. We would get like 20 people. Come on, come on. From there, the body shop on Carl Street was born. You come in, push hard, end up like this. That's good, though. He's the lead trainer, so I let him take the lead. Um, I follow his lead, and I'm his assistant. High knees. The sessions are one hour each. All types of body shapes, just everyone from different backgrounds, areas, just coming together. Push, breathe. Starting at 8 a.m., going as late as 8 p.m. We both train during the morning while the kids are at school, and in the evening, he'll come down and train, and I'm at home with the kids. The workouts consist of high-intensity training that Will creates. It's fun. It's absolutely fun. Fast, y'all, come on. Don Ringer has been coming to BBF for nearly two years and has been put through the ringer. When I started, I was diabetic. I was giving myself four insulin shots a day, taking about seven different medications. With one session a week, she couldn't believe her results. So she jumped at the opportunity for more, and the unthinkable happened. May of last year, at the end of May, was the last time I had to give myself any, any insulin, any medications. My goal was really just to cut all of that in half, but to be free of it was, is the best feeling. The walls of this classroom are filled with transformations. Everybody is like our walking billboard of everyday people in the community. Lost 60, 65 pounds. Jermaine Roper is a Cincinnati firefighter. 
He's been training at BBF for a little more than a year. It's helped him perform better at his job, a game for the city. You age faster when you don't take care of your body. You take care of your body, you have a longer career. Yeah, right, you good? Will and Shadeka are helping to close the health gap. They work out with us. They down there with us getting sweaty, getting dirty. In a community they believe is underserved. We actually teach you how you should eat. So we take folks grocery shopping. Uh, we make people take pictures of each meal. Helping to feed the mind, body, and soul. And if anybody could, could do it, guys, it's you. He pushes you to want to push yourself. My purpose is to serve and to be here and to help folks. So everything falls in place.